at This Week in Games. Video games about war are nothing new, but an upcoming game from Konami has some seeing red. Six Days in Fallujah is based on the brutal 2004 battle in the Iraqi city of the same name. And while it's striving to be authentic, many veterans have expressed outrage that such a recent conflict would be glamorized in a video game. But while some believe it will dishonor servicemen, others think it could lend insight into what war is truly like for those in the trenches. At least that's the hope of the game's makers as well, who claim that their intention is simply to bring gamers a new kind of experience. Did that settle it? Hardly. Six Days in Fallujah isn't scheduled to come out until next year, leaving plenty of time for the battle over the game's release to rage on. Coming up next, a Grand Theft Auto fan gets a shocking surprise. When it comes to Grand Theft Auto, most people expect the unexpected. But when British gamer Richard Thornhill grabbed a used copy from his local retailer, he got much more than he bargained for. According to the Daily Telegraph, the 34-year-old gamer found four tablets of the illegal narcotic ecstasy tucked away in the used game's manual. The irate father of two promptly brought the drugs to the police, who are launching a full investigation. It seems what happens in Liberty City doesn't always stay there.